Hey y'all, J20 Jeepster here. We just got our injectors in from Injectordyne on eBay. So we're going to go ahead and do the fuel injector upgrade on this 99 Cherokee. First thing we're going to do is disconnect the battery terminals. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect both of them. You will see why later. I'm going to don the safety glasses. We are going to do this before we forget. I'm going to depressurize the fuel rail. Just like a Schrader valve on a tire. Alright, so there's no pressure in there. But there is still fuel in there because obviously you can't get it all out. Let's screw that back on. Now we just need to clear everything out of the way so we can remove the fuel rail. And in order to do that, we're going to have to remove this and get rid of some hoses here. Or at least move them out of the way. So I'm going to start by disconnecting the shift linkage leads. millimeter hmm. Try a little more leverage here Go ahead and thread those in just a little bit where they go. Set this aside. Now we have our PCV hoses, valve cover hoses. That out of the way, and clip this, get it further out of the way. Okay, now we have this bolt over here, this bolt, and this bolt, and this bolt to get to. This one, uh, this plug. Might be in the way, but I think we're all right. Go ahead and get my don't lose your bolt pan there. There's that yeah, holds that on. This one further down that actually holds the fuel rail on. Actually comes out as the whole stud there. Like that. And we'll go ahead. There's this one. I'm going to go ahead and remove plugs. So on these plugs, you just pop this red piece up, and then you're able to push this plug in, and it pops off. Sometimes they get stuck, and you have to manually get in there and activate 
this junk gets up in there and whatnot. But they should come pretty easy. After gently pulling the rail out and filling your lawnmower with what's left over in the rail, we're going to pull these clips. They just slide out like this. I'm going to go ahead and pull these out. I have to shoot some slickum up in there. There you go. Only five more to go. Yes, spraying some lube in there makes it possible. fuel rail we can clean up here all right so I want to show you the difference between the upgrade injector and the original here's the main difference right here this comes out in four smaller streams instead of one large stream atomizes the fuel much better within the cylinder because fuel burns as a gas not as a liquid if you notice this is an EV6 style plug if you are dealing with an 87 to 98 Cherokee you need to check out my other video it's pretty much the same procedure only I'm using the EV1 style injectors Make sure I don't damage the o-ring on the new injectors what I like to do is put just a smidgen I mean a smidgen you don't want to overdo it because you don't want any of this to get in your fuel system but it's just a silicone grease and it doesn't harm the rubber like petroleum does and it will actually preserve the rubber last longer so that makes that o-ring slick and slide it right in place. And I'll do this to all six of them. Go ahead and put the same very, very finite amount on the bottom so I don't have to damage the o rings putting them back in. very diligently clean out these ports without getting anything in your cylinders. It's a tricky task. You should comment down below if you have figured out a good way to do this insert the rail back in with the new and improved fuel injectors to work from one side to the other pressing them in Now we know one of the studs went back in the very back so that relay or that plug could hang on it. Go ahead and put it in 
And we know that one of the studs went all the way up front. And we know that these were in the middle. Go ahead and tighten them all. That one, and this one, and this one, and then this one. Plug our fuel line back in, put the snap back on, plug all of our fuel injectors back in. Remove the tape. Push all the safety clips back down. Go. Install our plug holder. Snaps back on. Pull that forward. That snaps back this way. Like so this snaps the same way. Shift linkage. <clears throat> there we go. Get the vents back where they go. All right, now what we're gonna do is going to temporarily put these on here. I'm gonna tighten them down or anything. Put them on temporarily. I'm gonna come in here. We're gonna listen. And we're gonna listen to the fuel pump. We turn it on. We heard the fuel pump. We're gonna turn it on again. Fuel pump again. Fuel pump again. We're listening to it. When we hear it start to strain. Okay. System should be pressurized. And now Take a look, make sure there are no leaks. Seems everything's all right. Now we'll go ahead and crank it. Check for leaks. All right, since we didn't find any leaks, what we're gonna do is take these back off. We're gonna put them together for 30 seconds. At least. Make sure. One, two, three, four, 29, 30. All right. Now we're going to put them back on. Now we're going to turn the key 
to the on position. I'm going to turn the headlights on. The headlights off. I'm going to turn the key back off. And now the computer is set to relearn the injectors. So the initial startup could be a little rough because the computer is still learning the new injectors. But as uh, it learns that information, it'll get smoother and it'll be good to go. If you have this model, I like to also reset the computer here. So now I can keep track of my miles per gallon now. See how it differs from before the upgrade. Hey y'all, thanks for watching. Special thanks to Rocket Distribution for sponsoring the injectors for this video. A uh, link to his eBay site I'll put over here, somewhere over there. And you can check out, he's got uh, injectors for just about anything. He rebuilds them and most of them he's got a warranty and very decently priced, so appreciate that. And also you should click like down below and subscribe. Also, don't forget to comment. If you uh, have some tips, tricks, or comments, questions, yeah, feel free to comment down below. Thanks again for watching.